When you're ready, state your name for the camera. All right, Maxine Wilson. Thank you for coming, Maxine Wilson. Thank you for having me. With one word, can you describe the state of the world right now? Chaos. In my world, <laughs> we start there. In my world, I moved to a country that was supposed to offer me freedom, you know, to be whoever I want to be. And instead, in 2020, I'm stuck in a country defined by the color of my skin and a country that won't take a pandemic seriously so I can't go home to see my family. A country that has a president who is intent on dividing for his own benefit. I call that chaos. But what challenges have you faced this year, 2020? Specifically 2020 challenges. For one, can I bring it back to 2019 a bit? All right, so 2019 I had to make a big decision, right? Big for me. Let go of an uh, 11 year relationship. Um, in pursuit of loving myself, let's just say. Um, 2019, I spent the entire year pretending that didn't happen, um, burying it with all other activities except for deep thought about, you know, how exactly it is I can move forward loving myself. Um, 2020, because of the isolation, the quarantine brought on by COVID-19 has forced me to take a look at the things that I didn't want to look at in 2019. Um, forced me to see how it is I really feel about that situation. Forced me to seek help outside of myself so that I can talk about things that are making me feel like chaotic, like I said before. Um, 2020 challenge for me is looking at myself in the mirror and trying to figure out who the hell is looking back. It's rough. Looking back on these challenges, how have you grown while facing them or from facing them? Well, if we're speaking about just that challenge, looking in the mirror and trying to figure out who's looking back, have I figured out who's looking back yet? Not really, uh, you know, beginning to see some things, some things of the person that I want to be versus that person who I was. Um, if we're talking about challenges like no longer having a, you know, set social scene that you can rely on. That's a different challenge in itself. Whereas you live in a New York City, at least, you had these outlets, these things that you can do to get outside yourself for a moment, whereas now you don't have that anymore. Or you have it, just you have to do it in smaller circles or different time frames in different places, different settings. Um, that also forces you to kind of sit down and try and figure out who you are. So I feel like 2020 for me at least all comes back to without all these extra things around you and with all these restraints in place, who are you? Um, have I, like I said, have I figured it out? Not yet. Will I figure it out? Maybe. One day, that's the goal. Uh, I'm going to just take it one piece at a time. And tomorrow, I'll see who's looking at me then. If you are hopeful. If I'm. If you're hopeful, what are you most hopeful for looking at 2021? Oh man, I'm hopeful for so many things. Jeez, most hopeful for? Most hopeful for? I'm most hopeful for a new president. I'll start there. Right? Most hopeful for 
somebody who will change the conversation from I hate you and I hate this and we hate each other to how could we fix it? How could we learn to love and respect each other despite all the differences that have brought us to this current juncture? Um, new president is a must, for me at least. I think we need that. I am hopeful for a little bit more equality. I don't know when or where or how that will come. Maybe that's 2068, but I really want that now. Um, in terms of 2020 has given me the okay as a black woman to say, I am not quite happy with where we are in terms of race relations. Um, I can say out loud that I, you know, or educate people on certain things. It's okay for me to say how I feel about certain things in terms of race. I'm hopeful that that will continue so that I don't have to be somebody else in different spaces, yeah? Um, I'm hopeful for that. I am hopeful for new things like change, possibly leave in New York City, we shall see. But um, that's just more on me, like more on my goals for 2020. But as a collective, if we start with a new president, there are so many things that a new president can do, I know, I know. There's like a hundred million different things that we can focus on, but I guess for me, my focus on division, race relations, all the things that have happened between March and now, if we can see some more upward mobility on that, that would be nothing short of deserved but amazing. Well, one, just so you know that you can also answer this strictly on you and what on me? Yeah, you don't have to answer for the community. I want to get the hell out of New York City. <laughs> 2020, I, I want to go home for, for a week and not have to wonder if I'm bringing a disease home to my family, a disease that can spread to a country that can't take care of it. I want to be able to see my niece, my mom, my dad, my brother. I want, I can't even go to Canada where the other half of my family lives. So technically I'm trapped or isolated. Um, so it makes everything feel a little bit worse than it would. So 2020, I just want my people back <laughs> and I can't get them. They're right there, but I can't get them. So I can Zoom, I can FaceTime, I can WhatsApp as much as I want, but I want to go home and I can't, and it sucks. <laughs>